there's another house or, or building for scale and trees. As we circle around, we'll go along the outer part of this uh, shoreline again, and you get another just good lighting of the uh, near shore deposits. It seems to be mostly sand with a mixture of cobble boulder here, and the headlands uh, appear to have much uh, ex more extensive shoals off them there. Another view of the flanking spit that extends off the uh, end of the island. Going by Birch Point again, you have another view of that shoal. And going into the next abatement, again, you have another view of those same barriers. We're just around uh, past Birch Point, uh, heading towards Granby Point. Around the Granby Point, uh, the fringing beach gives way to an erosional uh, cliff uh, free face. Uh, maybe bedrock at the base, but it looks to be mostly uh, cobble boulder material, and there's a distinct uh, line between the uh, coarse material close inshore and the sand deposits farther offshore. This looks like an old uh, spit that used to run along the shore or barrier. I uh, see some uh, beach ridges and another barrier here. Uh, we're in the uh, Malaga Watch. Uh, Reserve area. Uh, just along here, there's a uh, cemetery. That I believe we're just along this area where it was a cemetery was eroding. Here uh, it's 12:39, uh, and you're just picking up uh, the cemetery now. There's eroding, and uh, some riprap's been added to it. And uh, the barrier beach itself, uh, to the other side, is uh, mostly sandy. Uh, some. Uh, Pebble in the storm ridge, a lot of wetland and old uh, uh, recurved uh, ridges all along uh, the back shore. Uh, there's a lot of vegetation and some uh, some pebble, but mostly a sand uh, environment. So we've just gone up in towards. We're just at Knoll Point now, heading around Boom Island. This is uh, all part of the Malakawatch uh, Reserve. Very beautiful spot. Down the boom, uh, the name, uh, as you might imply, uh, it comes from uh, logging days when you used to have a log, a log boom along coming through this area. Um, much of the back shore is very low-lying wetland, uh, very poorly developed beach, um, tree, uh, sort of a pebbly uh, beach, uh, very narrow. Some dune grass in the occasional spot where it's a bit uh, sandier. Time is 12:41, and we're flying at around 400 at 80 uh, knots. Fairly consistent uh, shore along here. Uh, partially stabilized uh, tree back shore. Uh, um, the uh, Foreshore is pebble and sand, and then there's a very narrow uh, near shore area exposed, and then it seems to be quite a bit deeper just offshore. Coming just at the entrance of the boom, again, you've got a, a small foreland, a custom foreland, uh, formed of sand by the uh, w waves coming through the channel. Coming up in the Martin Point. and around uh, the Boom Island area.
uh, going along uh, the Boom Island, um, Boom Island, the backside uh, in the Denny Basin. Uh, Nicholas Denny actually in 1600 used to have a summer home up in this area, and he used to call Labrador Lakes Labrador. I wonder if that's where the name came from, or actually whether it's the uh, arm of the gold. But it, we're in the Denny Basin now, a very enclosed area. Uh, it's an oyster uh, spat ground uh, for the Eskasoni and Mal Malgawatch uh, Indian bands, and it's a very uh, productive uh, wildlife area. We're part in part of the Malakawatch Indian Reserve right now. It's 12:43, and you can see a, a small uh, barrier beach. Uh, it's sort of broken up. It's not well formed with vegetation along the back shore. There's several of these small or grassy areas um, with uh, stagnant ponds behind them, and then the uh, shore itself is sort of a mixed uh, sand pebble cobble. Coming into a bit of a headland here, a bit more relief, maybe five, ten meters. And we're flying at about 350 feet. And the uh, the small spit at the end with the shoal extending off it, and then he's facing. Um, and then as we come around, it's very uh, much uh, marsh and uh, wetland and vegetation. Uh, going right across over to the outer part of uh, Malgawatch Indian Reserve. Here you've got a uh, good view here of the wetland area in behind the Malgawatch Indian Reserve. And uh, there's probably a lot of uh, bird life in the fall here and all year round probably. And we'll just pull back and head back in the Denny's Basin again. Back out. And uh, as you can see, it's primarily all a sort of a, a wetland vegetation. Sandy, we're getting closer to that stratified drift again now. And uh, very wide shoals off of this uh, point of land. Uh, we're just going over them now. It's all sand. Uh, the beach is very poorly developed. Uh, it's mostly uh, dune grass. Um, and then treed area in the back shore seems to be more on the stratified drift. Getting across, uh, coming up to that old canal again. Uh, some of the housing on the reservation. Uh, nice sand beach, they got a great location here. Uh, it's a fair bit of vegetation in the water just uh, beneath us here. And then we're coming up to the old canal again.